In this video, I will be teaching you how to analyze and solve polynomials and polynomial equations problem solving. So let's have an example. A box is created from a sheet of cardboard 25 inches on a side by cutting a square from each corner and folding up the sides. Let x represent the length of the sides of the squares removed from each corner. Find an expression for the volume of the box in terms of x. So first is we are going to illustrate the problem to, to uh, make it easier for us to analyze how to solve it. So this is how it looks like. So here's a cardboard, a square uh, cardboard with a 25 inch uh, length of side. And of course we need to cut the corners in order to fold it and make it a box. And it's given that the length of the corner that is cut is x inches. So we're going to put x inches for the corner. And now let us visualize again how it looks like if it's going to be um, uh, look like a box. So of course, there is no, um, it is not shown that there is, uh, there will be a cover. So just imagine that that box is open on top and anyway what we are after is just the volume not uh, the surface area so it's not a big deal without a cover or it, uh, having a cover for this box so the formula for the volume of the box is length times v times height and we are going to substitute every um, uh, dimension of this box and as you can see in the 3D box, the length becomes 25 minus 2x. And the width is, I mean the height is x. That is the part that is cut. And how did we get 25 minus 2x? Observe that the one on top is 25 inches long for each side. But then since we are going to cut x inches in both uh, sides of the corner, that's why there are there will be minus 2x because there are two x's that will be cut. That's why the 25 inches will be subtracted by two x's that is being removed. That's why it's 25 minus 2x for each side of our box. Now let's continue. Let us substitute. So the length will be 25 minus 2x as well as the width because it's, it's a square times the height which is x. And then this 25 minus 2x can be written as this because it's the same. So it's going to be square of 25 minus 2x. And remember that the square of uh, a minus b is a squared minus 2ab plus b squared. And so we're going to do the same. So the square of 25 where our a is 25 and our b is 2x. So minus 2 times 25 times 2x plus the square of 2x. Uh, all be, will be multiplied by the height x. Then let us simplify. 25 squared is 625 minus 2 times 25 times 2 is 100 plus square of 2 is 4 and square of x is x squared. All will be multiplied by x. Then distribute the x. It will be 625x minus 100x squared plus 4x cubed. So this is actually the volume but you can arrange it in order according to the degree of the variable so it will be 4x cubed minus 100x squared plus 625x and that is the volume of the box in terms of x now another example find the dimensions of a box with the volume of x cubed plus 6x squared minus x minus 30 so let's illustrate this so this is going to be the box. So we don't know how it looks like, but let's just assume that it's like this and there's a length, width, and height. And that's what we are looking for. That is what we call the dimensions, the length, width, and height of this box. Now to do that, so let's have the formula first of the volume of the box is length times width times height. And that means we need to factor this uh, polynomial expression in order to find the length, width, and height. But of course, the longest should be the length Next is the width and the shortest is the height. If you base it on our uh, 
figure. But anyway, the, the length, width, and height can be interchanged. Because anyway, it is not given which is one is longer. But we'll just base it on our figure. So let us factor. We're going to use synthetic division to factor this. Let's have the line in the box where um, we can use rational root theorem to lessen the option to put that box. But I'll just put one of the roots to save time and which is positive 2. So let's put 1 and 2 times 1 is 2. 6 plus 2 is 8. 8 times 2 is 10. Uh, 16, sorry. Negative 1 plus 16 is 15. And 15 times 2 is 30. Negative 30 plus 30 is 0. So that is, uh, we have our remainder 0, so that means the root, one of the roots is 2. Then we're going to change it into polynomial of, fi of 15, that's the constant, plus 8x plus the 1x squared, or just the x squared. But then this is factorable, so we can still factor this, x squared as x and x, and 15 as 5 and 3, which is 5 times 3 is 15. But you can also choose negative 5 and negative 3, but I don't think it will result to positive 8x when we cross multiply. So cross multiply to check x times 5 is 5x, x times 3 is 3x. Then we add, so it will be 8x, which is the same as the middle term. That means our pairing is correct. So the, the, the factored form of the polynomial is x minus 2, that is the x minus a, where our a is the root, which is 2, times the factored form of x squared plus 8x plus 15, which is x plus 5 times x plus 3. So our, uh, this x minus 2 is actually the height, that is the lower, because it's minus. Now the, the x plus 5 is the longest, because it's x plus 5, the other one's only x plus 3, so that will be the length, and the x plus 3 is uh, the width and that is that are the, the the dimensions of a box thanks for watching and i hope you have learned from this video please support my channel by pressing the subscribe button and also write the math topics you want to learn in the comment section